to the tent. Dude, what is it about my stream only that when I set my game to Steam, it shows that Steam World dig fucking picture? <laughs> Can anyone explain that shit? I don't know, dude. I, I put games plus demos if it's like some of that isn't there. Yeah, I switched from using that to uh, Steam just to. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I'll check if it's a game that's dude. known, but for all these indie games. I, I wish there was just some fucking like thing that was like indie game. Dude, that game looks so bad. It looks like it's running 2 FPS or something. It is. <laughs> It's like, most people can't even get it to run. Oh god. It's just a total asset flip, like Unity Store zone dropped in with a couple items like literally dropped onto the world. So bad. Super unoptimized, super janky, no sprint button. Do you see all the visual errors? What the fuck is this shit? No, right, like the black line and stuff, you know. Not even like loading in It's horrible. Like Steam really just needs some sort of quality check, like people are against that, but like, come on, there's a clear difference between people no. trying and then this stuff. Mm, I don't know. You're saying we should allow these asset flip fucking pieces of trash on Steam? I mean, the easiest thing would be we just increase the price of entry, man. It's just like a hundred dollars to get your Steam game on Steam. That's nothing. You gotta keep in mind that like a lot of good games have come out that though at the same time. <sighs> <sighs> Fuck, man. Really though? If it was a thousand dollars, would those good games really not be able to like win people over enough to get the funding? Mm. Yeah, like just make a demo, put it on Kickstarter or something, and then say you'll release the full thing on Steam. I, I, actually, that's kind of sketch. Never mind. Even something like Your Bunny wrote that game I just played that was like super indie, super cheap, fucking like 50 cent game, whatever, would be like worthwhile at least. Mm, that one isn't anyone near as bad as most of your stuff. Something. There's plenty of those games that are like dirt cheap. Still good though. Mm. I feel like the Hunter Pals curator needs to mention those types of like scout level games that are actually indie gems. Isn't that what like the Hunter Pals scouts curator? Hunter Pal Scouts isn't for quality of game though, it's just like, is the game working or not? What's the deal? How do you get the hundo? Yeah, yeah easy. Hard, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the new Steam Curator page layout though, like... It's such a pain. Like, it doesn't even show, like, what I own, what's on my wish list, and all that. It's really buggy. Oh, crap. I'm falling back down to the ground. And I made it this phase. No, dude. It's I'll okay. fall down, you go. It's okay. I found a meteor. Dude, do this. Do this. Yep. See if it works for you. <laughs> it's not gonna work in midair, I think. Dude, just do it on that rock. Like I did. I believe. Nah, I think I made it. Holy Christ, yeah. dude, this is making my whole computer slower and slower. I think I'm on a fast track to a blue screen here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, can I make it in time? <laughs> this is some fucking janky shit, dude. Oh, how does it even get like through the Steam verification stage? No, no. It's like, what verification? Why is it they've got like fucking scan it? They're not just gonna let viruses on Steam, are they? So you know. 
Yeah, so I'm sure they like at least see if it runs or something, right? You can't even go through that claw. Dude, I know. Nothing. Fucking nothing. Yeah. It looks like some student project that just put a ton of assets in from nowhere, you know? So bad. Alright, that's it. That's the hundo. <sighs> Got it. Blue screen, it's okay. <sighs> We're safe. Is that six minutes? God damn, that was scary. Damn, that was quick.